for me, this whole talk about insecurity is a reflection of the poor performance of President Akufuado and his appointees. And guess what, Senator? The president is on record to have appointed the biggest security architecture in the Fourth Republic. The biggest in terms of numbers. And when he was even challenged about the numbers he was appointing, his justification was that there was so much work to be done for our good. Three years, four years down the line. What is the output of those huge numbers put in charge of our security, drawing the taxpayers' money and living at our expense? The result is the unexplained murders, the increased numbers in robberies, and the general insecurity that we face. The sad part of it is that instead of acknowledging this failure and perhaps giving us hope, members of this government are telling us that there is no insecurity situation, that people are safe, and that it is the opposition that is creating or painting a picture of insecurity. So whether armed robbers are attacking and raping people, in fact, in 2019, between January and June, according to the police records, over 900 robberies, just robberies, had been recorded. And yet they tell you that it is just a picture that is painted. We still cannot tell how Ahmed Sali was killed, who did it, and for what. There was a lady at Gapoha. We can't tell how he was killed, who did it, what for. There was an engineer at the Ghana Water Company Limited, Joe. We don't know how it happened. And many, 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 you know, uh, 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 such unexplained murders. In fact, when the, 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 the vice president, I think, went to Mfansimam, or it's the president himself, the Omahin of the Mankesim area had cause to also complain about these unexplained murders. And in her area, she even made references to the killing of a BNI officer and another